Now, the great news is that confidence is something we can choose to have. It's a choice that you can make. You get more confidence by going outside your comfort zone, by taking risks, by being prepared to fail. Yes, fail occasionally. It's OK. I went into a White House meeting a year ago on Syria. And I walked into this White House meeting. And it was mostly guys, of course, 80%. And they were all Middle East academics. And I thought, oh, God, you know, I've been invited to the wrong meeting. I don't speak Arabic. I don't speak Farsi. I don't know who you know, the third person in power is in Syria or in Iran. I've, you know, why on earth have they put me here? Anyway, I go into this meeting. And it's at a long table. And we're talking about the, the White House people are making their presentation. And it gets to the stage for Q&A. And the guys on the table jump in. The other academics jump in, no problem. And I'm sitting there at this meeting thinking, I have to ask a question. I cannot be one of two women in this meeting who is not from the White House and not ask a question. But I had to literally force myself. I had to say, Catty, for God's sake, you know, you're a woman in her mid-50s. Put your hand up. Open your mouth. Get the question out. What's going to happen? OK, you might stumble a bit. You might blush a bit. You might sweat a bit. But at least you've opened your mouth. And you know what I did? And the sky didn't fall on my head. And the earth didn't open up underneath me. And the next time around, when I went to the next White House briefing and fell out of my depths, it was that bit easier because I'd gone through the trial of by fire the time before. That's how you gain confidence. You go outside your comfort zone. One step at a time, you build it up. Confidence, we found, because we've spoken to a ton of neurologists about this, is in part genetic, but it's only 30%. The rest is what they call volitional. It's your choice to make. And as women, we have to make it because the guy we spoke to at Berkeley, we interviewed an academic out there, a psychologist who works in the business school, who's done this extraordinary study, who has basically proved what we have all suspected and what we have seen as we've kept our heads down and played by the rules, that in business and in success, Confidence matters more than competence. He did a whole series of studies that showed that the leaders in the group were the ones not who were the most competent by any means. They were the ones who projected confidence. We spoke to another academic, the University of Milan in Italy. He did a, a test survey with men and women. And he put them in front of a computer. It looked a bit like a Rubik's Cube, kind of some sort of computer spatial test, because women apparently are notoriously bad at spatial tests. Anyway, half men, half women, he gets them to do this test. The women's scores come back way lower than the men's. So Dr. Estes goes over the scores. Why are women doing so much worse than men's? He finds out that the women, twice as often as the men, are simply skipping the problem. They see a challenge. They see one of these spatial problems. They think it's too difficult. They don't think they're going to get it right, and so they just skip it. The next time around, he gave them the same test again. But you're not allowed to skip any questions this time. This time, you have to do every single one. Guess what? The women did as well as the men. We are holding ourselves back. That is our choice to make. When the women had to do those tests, they did as well as the men. Confidence is about action. We all want to go across the room and talk to the stranger, sign up for a marathon. Join the PTA. Ask for a pay raise. Confidence is what lets you do it. It's what divides those who have the desire and the idea from those who do. And you get confidence by doing. Every step you take, every risk you take, every time you go outside your comfort zone, it's like paying into a bank account. You build up your stack of confidence. And confidence is what matters for women.